Hello friends, welcome back for today's class. In my last video, I have given explanation about the uh, procedure for the assessment of company. Uh, today, we will solve some problems on the assessment of company chapter. So, I have uh, framed some question on this chapter, assessment of company. So, the first problem is uh, this I have chosen from uh, the textbook Mehrotra. I have made some adjustment and have framed the question. So, we will see the question first. Clearly, we will understand the question and then we will move to move to the solution how to solve this question. So, the problem is that a company, X company limited is a domestic company in which the publics are substantially interested. The following are the particulars for the previous year 18-19. So, here they have given some information, interest on government securities, income from business, short term capital gain, long term capital gain, dividend from Indian company, dividend from foreign company, book profit under section 115 JB 9 lakh. So, they have asked to compute the total income and the tax liability. So, first we will see some uh, 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 information given here. So, this is the transaction in which head you are going to take. First, we will have some uh, clear understanding. The first one is interest on government securities, 20,000 is given. So, you have to take it is under the income from other source head. Second is income from business. So, here income from business, uh, they are not given any profit and loss account and any adjustments relating to the business income. So, they have directly given the income from business. So, you take a business income under head that head short term capital gain long term capital gain so you go for the head capital gains dividend from indian company and dividend from foreign company so, so this you have to take under the income from other sources and they have given book profit here so when they give the book profit they have given directly the book profit 9 lakh so no need of calculating any book profit directly the book profit is given means it is understood so you have to apply the mat under section 115 jb for this problem so we'll see the solution how to calculate the total income and the tax liability so this is the computation of total income for assessment year 1920 first you go for the income business income you take directly the business income they have given in the problem is 5 lakh so you take it directly and next uh, after business income that is capital gain so short term capital gain is there in the problem that is 40,000 and long term is also given in the problem that is 50,000 total it comes around 90,000 and there is one more income that is income from other source so in case of income from other source uh, the three incomes are given I think you can uh, make a note on that that is dividend from Indian company is there. Uh, see, interest on government securities, dividend from Indian company, dividend from foreign company. So, these three things you take in the income from other source. Dividend from Indian company, it is totally exempted from tax under section 10. So, you take exempt there. And foreign company, 10,000 you take. Interest on government securities, 20,000. So, if you add all the incomes, you will get the gross total income, 6,20,000. So, for that, if there is any deduction eligible from 80G to 80JJA, JJB. So, here that deduction, if it is there in the problem, you look into the problem. So, here in this problem, there is no any uh, deductions given. So, for the deduction, you take it as nil and the balance what you get is 6,20,000. So, you treat it as a taxable income. Next step. Here, there is no need of calculating any book profit, I told. In the problem, directly they have given the book profit. So, your work is next, you have to go for calculating the computation of tax liability. First, you go for the um, taxation of normal income. So, you take the taxable income, what you uh, got now, that is 6,20,000 is the taxable income. On that, you calculate the uh, tax payable. So, you go for the procedure. So, I told first if there is any winnings, you had to apply the rate of 30%. But in this problem, there is no any winnings is given. So, you leave it that. Next is any short term, long term, 
So you have to apply the tax rate first for that. So here short term gain is given is 40,000 in the problem. So you apply 15% tax, so it comes around 6,000. Next long term gain is there in the problem. So that is 50,000 is there. So you apply 20%. The tax payable is 10,000 for that. And there is no any other casual income. There is no any other source of income. So to apply the tax, you directly take the balance. So how to come um, to find the balance means you take the taxable income. That is 620,000. From that you deduct the uh, income on which tax is already calculated. So that is on 40,000, 50,000 you already calculated the tax. So you deduct that amount. So the balance left out is 5,30,000. On that you apply 25% of the tax applicable to the company. So I told 25% you have to apply the tax for the company if the turnover of the company is less than 250 crores. So turnover means here the sales of the company is less than 20, uh, 250 crores. If it is more than 250 crores, you have to apply the tax rate of 30%. So if we apply the 25%, the tax amount you get is 1,32,500. So you take all the tax amount here, it comes around 1,48,500. Next, for that you have to add the surcharge. Surcharge here is you have to take it as a nil. So I have given the uh, explanation about the surcharge. So you have to apply 2% surcharge if the taxable income is uh, more than uh, 1 crore and less, more than 2 crore and less than 10 crore. So there is no any uh, taxable income uh, to the crores. So you take it as nil. And again, you add education says 4% on 1,48,500. So you get the cess amount as 5,940. If you take the total that is 1,48,500 plus 5,940, the total you get is 1,54,440 is the tax payable under the normal uh, process. Next, you have to calculate the tax as per the mat. Here you have to apply the mat because the book profit is given in the problem. So you apply the mat under 5115 JB. For that you take the base as the book profit. The book profit in this problem directly they have given that is 9 lakh. On that you calculate 18.5%. So it will not given in the problem. You should know the rules. The rule says you have to apply 18.5%. So you get around 1,66,500. For that you add the surcharge. I told here there is no surcharge. And again you add the education says that is 4% on 1,66,500. Says you get is sorry, says is 6600. If you take the total, it comes around 173,100. So, here what is the amount of tax payable to the government? Means you go for comparison of the A and B, the tax which is calculated under normal uh, rate and the tax which is calculated under the MAT. So, which one is higher? Here, 173,100 is the higher, that is the amount of tax payable to the government. So this is about the first problem. So we will see the, uh, one more problem. I have taken uh, one more problem. Problem. The following are the incomes of an Indian company for the previous year ended 31st March 2019. The information is given like this. Business profit after deducting donation by check 50,000 to approved charitable institution that is 570,000. So they are telling business profit means it is nothing but the net profit of the business to so after directing donation 50,000 to approve charitable institution means the donation is uh, any donation if it is given uh, the donation it is an expense it will be debited to the profit and loss account that you know very well the donation is in the nature of business is it for the promotion of business means it is treated as allowable expense but here the donation is given to the charitable institution means it is not related to the business expense so you have to go for disallowing that donation so when you calculate the business income you go for disallowing this next one is interest on securities so you have to take under income from other source dividend from domestic company again you take under income from other source royalty from a company in consideration of technical knowledge so this also you have to consider under income from other source 
next one more adjustment is that income from the business of poultry farming so in a 2018 is 1 lakh so it is also treated purely as a business income and they have given some adjustment they have asked to calculate the total income and tax liability considering the following what they have asked to consider means first point is book pro business profit includes 80000 of export business so the business profit means here it is of 570000 they are telling it includes 80000 of the income of export business so you 80000 is all included in that 570000 of business profit so now you go for making an analysis whether the 80000 is a business income or not if it is a business income it's already included so no further any adjustment required for that okay here the next point is they are telling is the company has not declared any dividend during the year so this is just an information given to you we'll see how to solve this problem first business profit means you go for finding the business income first you take the business income 570000 and for that you go for disallowing the donation because it is not a business expenditure so when it is not a business expenditure you had to add it back so you add that 50000 you will get 6 or oh, 620000 and there is one more adjustment i told income from poultry farming it is also a business income so you take that 1 lakh all together the business income is 7 lakh 20000 you go for the next head of income that is capital gain long term 50000 is there short term 30000 total you get is 80000 next income is other source in case of other source the three transaction is given one is interest on security you take that 7000 domestic company dividend it is totally exempted and royalty from foreign company so you take 60000 total it comes around 67000 if you add all this you will get the gti gross total income of 8 lakh 67000 from gross total income you go for the deduction that is here they are telling donation given for the charitable institution means you have to apply 50% under 80g so 50% of 50000 means it comes to 25000 and here you have to claim one more deduction that is if there is any income from poultry farming and all you have to apply the section of 80 ib if there is a profit on the business of any poultry farming so 80 ib is the section you have to claim 100% deduction for this so 1 lakh 100% means it comes to 1 lakh only total deduction eligible is 1 lakh 25000 so if you deduct it you will get 7 lakh 42000 you treat it as a total income or a taxable income in this case in this problem you can make observation in the problem they have not asked any information of application of any mat 115 jb they are not asking anything regarding this and in the problem they have not given book profit also so if this is the case means no question of applying mat and all directly you calculate the taxable income under normal procedure and you apply the tax liability so here tax liability you take the taxable income 7 lakh 20000 and as the procedure you go for short term tax 15% it comes to 4500 and on long term gain you apply 20% it comes to 10000 balance i told you take 7 lakh 20000 minus 80000 which you already taxed balance is 6 lakh 40000 on that you apply the company tax rate of 25% so 1 lakh 60000 in total the tax amount is 1 lakh 74500 so for that you have to add the surcharge so here surcharge is nil and you add the education says 4% so you will get 6980 the total tax payable is 1 lakh 81480 so i hope Uh, you understood the um, calculation of the tax liability and the taxable income of company